In this series, we are talking about the scope of piping engineers. In previous sections, we talked about the role of uh, scope of piping design or layout engineers, piping material engineers. In this section, we'll talk about piping stress engineers. Okay, we'll talk about various softwares. What is uh, what are various jobs which are demanding? What is demanded from stress engineers? What is the role of piping stress engineer and how mechan what kind of mechanical engineer are suitable for such roles then in the end we'll see how you can become a piping stress expert so let us go directly to this in between we talked about uh, the role or scope of piping engineers there are a lot of uh, blue links you can go directly this will be uh, this will take you to the video links on youtube so let us directly go to the piping stress engineers uh, section. Okay, so piping stress engineers. This is a piping professional who provides technical expertise in piping design. Okay, so we will see what kind of uh, technical expertise is provided by piping stress engineers. First of all, let us see what are the various commonly used softwares. Most of the time they work on Caesar, Caesar 2, okay, CAI pipe, auto pipe. Okay, so these are the softwares which are commonly used by stress engineers. Now there are jobs for stress engineers. Let us see what is expected, what is their demand uh, from stress engineers. Excellent knowledge of international code and standards. Now we talked about here that they have to provide the technical expertise. A lot of technical information is hidden in codes and standards. So they have to be very expert. They have to be uh, good in reading and remembering the clauses of codes and standards. Capability to verify the technical documents, right? They have to go through a lot of technical document to extract the required information. So they have to be capable uh, for this thing. Then pipe stress analysis fundamental. Now the fluid will be passing through a pipe. There will be contraction and expansion. So what is the behavior of the pipe at different uh, scenarios and while dealing with different parameters, right? Process, temperature, conditions. So those fundamentals, uh, they have to be expert in. Grip at reading technical content and interest in technical subjects. Right when we are talking about technical expertise, they have to go through a lot of technical content. So it should not be a case that they get bored while reading the technical subjects. So they, once they have a grip, they are having interest, then they can be a very good uh, technical expert. Interest in engineering concepts related to strength of material. Strength of material is one of the subjects which we, most of the engineers, mechanical engineers, they read uh, during the engineering uh, academic years. So that con those concepts are really required. Uh, they if they have interest, then this in 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 the strength of material, then this is a very good uh, uh, job for them. Ability to visualize the material behavior under potential conditions so there will be a lot of uh, loading like primary secondary a lot of loads load cases will be there so under those conditions what is the behavior of various materials they need to understand they need to visualize okay so if these 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 are the uh, capabilities which are expected from a uh, pipe stress engineer okay so now let us see what they do during if, if they're working in any of the organization in a particular project what they do First of all, they perform the stress analysis. Okay, they check what kind of temperature pressures are there in a particular project. How the pipes are going to behave in under circum under certain circumstances. So that kind of stress analysis uh, has to be done. They do 3D modeling in Caesar to analyze to create uh, various scenarios to prepare the stress packages. Then a lot of stress analysis is done, then stress reports are generated. So those stuff is performed by stress engineers. Potential failure cases. So how, whether the system is stable or not, if it is failing, then what are the cases? If, if, if it is stable, then how we can make it, uh, how we can sustain uh, those conditions. So those kind of analysis they will perform.
check and qualify the behavior of piping under various reasons such as high temperature pressure wind effects seismic effects so those effects will be considered while doing the stress analysis then recommend pipe supports pipe stress engineer once they do the stress analysis they know which direction pipe is moving at various uh, temperature pressure conditions they based on that they select the pipe supporting whether it is sub, uh, rest support axial support guide support or anchor those kind of uh, different supports will be selected by pipe support uh, pipe stress engineers then they ensure pipe loads are within allowable range during initial uh, phase of the project the design basis stress design basis will be developed where allowable range of various load cases will be provided so during uh, actual stress analysis they perform uh, they they need to ensure that all these loads are within the allowable ranges right so this is something uh, the stress engineers do when they are in a job so these are the roles of piping stress engineers now let us see what kind of piping uh, what kind of mechanical engineer suitable for piping stress engineer role right first of all they need to be very good in calculations Calcu there will be lot of calculations uh, which will be performed by piping stress engineers then they have to be very good in uh, material behaviors they need to understand what kind of behaviors will be there at different uh, cases at different scenarios so if you think you are a mechanical engineer and you are good in calculations and you will be uh, able to understand the various behavior of the materials or you can say the strength of material subject then this role is very good for you now let us see how you can become expert in piping stress engineering okay on epc land we have a course on stress analysis you can click over this and you can go directly to the stress analysis course which is uh, having a lot of things related to all kind of equipment pump compressor columns right underground piping frp piping a lot of things will be there pipe support uh, standard a lot of uh, stress related information will be there so you can go through that and you can enroll to that once you enroll you will be having a lot of benefits the flexibility of time and location you don't have to go anywhere you stay at your location and you can look into the uh, recorded lectures 34 recorded lectures 14 hours of content is there which you will get access for lifetime once you enroll and you can go through n number of uh, time you can watch as many times as you require right this kind of flexibility will be provided then certificate of completion will be there this is a job oriented content based on practical experience so this is created by more than 17 18 years of experience so those experience you will see once you go through these uh, videos so this is how you can become expert in stress analysis so this was all about uh, stress engineers uh, role scope of stress engineers and in next section we'll talk about uh, piping field construction engineers